Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. How's my hair look? <laughs> which which fuck your hair, yeah, Dan? Dude. Which hair? Which hair, Dan? Seriously, which, this one right here looks that weird. Stupid green jacket. What are you, some kind of fucking golfer? <laughs> well, ah. that's the first time in the Burn. history. The, fir- <laughs> the first time in human history that Jared Taylor correctly identified a sport. It's true. Oh, that's true. It's true. So. <laughs> Although he is wearing a jersey today, if you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, you should be. Jared, is that a Lincoln's box seats official jersey? This is a Lincoln's box seats baseball jersey. Did Come you, on, why did you man. decide to not wear the grill on the show today? Uh, you know what? I've misplaced it. Oh god. Uh, how do you how does one misplace a grill? Oh god. Do Gross. I don't want to know, I don't I wanna know this story? It, I was keeping it in my back left pocket. Gross. Uh, and then I changed. Uh, so <laughs> it could still be in there. It might be on my dresser. So I was eating I do ass. Remember. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> if it's inside someone right now, you can feel the, free to tell us. The amount of DMs I got that said, I want you to eat me out with that fucking grill in was disturbing. That's a like, weird really, request. This, oh, is, this is what it took. <laughs> I, I, I think that's, a, that's an accurate request. I remember yeah. when Paul Wall was I don't, huge. I, dude. Everybody, you know, you know, I don't doubt anyone anymore. No. And it is ass eating <laughs> season. We're in October. This is the time to do it. Wow. Were they saying front or back? What? I, you know what? I don't. I, they weren't specific. It was just I was getting I was getting quite a few DMs. I just want to get eaten out. Women, too. If yeah, I, yeah, yeah, if a, uh, if a girl, uh, if a girl says I want to be eaten out to me, that's a dealer's choice. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever I'm hungry for that day. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a lot dealer's, like Vegas these dealer's days. Choice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah dealer's <laughs> choice on awesome. this one. What do I feel oh, like? Man. Mm, pull out a little I tiny know, fork and knife. That term, Actually, that term like <laughs> brings me back. Like It makes me feel like we're in eighth grade again because I remember like the whisperings of like the rumor mill of, oh, my God, did you hear Bobby ate out Jessica? Like, oh, yeah. Like, that was a big deal. Like, you just don't say that. Term. You just don't say that anymore yeah, yeah. No. i think Gross. we've retired i think what are you retired. what are you supposed to say jesse do you remember stabbing did you stab yeah like, no wait no. what we, stabbing we weren't on the stabbing but that i remember what captain is... stabbing's cabin oh yeah 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 that, yeah but yeah, yeah. Well, what's yeah. what's the, the boat porn yeah stabbing it's fucking it was a 90s term yeah 90s term 2000s, for fucking yeah and anybody who had a, a volkswagen it was the stabbing wagon or you know right that was the whole and thing. it was such a gross no. term no, Vol- to me Vol- that volkswagen I was stabbing wagon because serial killers chose to drive volkswagen it's mostly that's what I, I don't think from. that's I don't know yeah, I don't think that's that that's true, true. The and Vol- that's actually no. not accurate the at Vol- all the Volkswagen Beetle actually was the choice of serial killers in the 1960s 70s and 80s well it, it, we've had that 30 years be, since that could be a fact it couldn't I mean yeah. I mean you know the it's new, like the kids now the kids Maybe. now use uh, <laughs> smash, and it's just oh, that's smash, just kind of yeah. Smash, yeah. Childish. Smashing, like, I don't like. Eh, yeah, I heard. What about digging heard a bunch of like guts. teenagers on a dock uh. like, sharing their basic white girl sex stories the other day? I've got like, I've, man, yeah, I smashed her. It's like, oh, you're dumb. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of smash. I like uh, digging in her guts is a little too much. Dan. It's it's aggressive, like but guts. that's the thing. Yeah. How do you don't say how, that? How do you compliment a woman on her vagina in a polite way? I do all the time. Yeah, no, yeah, and how, how do you do that, Jerry? Because you can't, you, tell you can't say that was bomb ass pussy. You I can't, say like, like the B word is offensive well, to some people. Yeah, I say you have a very well put together giant. Yeah, ah, I like that. Like, I like uh, magical. Uh, like it's all, it's all, what? yeah, it's all just nice. It's ni- yeah, it's yeah, nice looking. What? Magical is a good term to use. Yeah. Ma- you? Magical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ma- magical is fine. Yeah. I magical, like, uh, magical. What? That bush magical. is lit. I like that bush is lit, fam. You know, it's lit right. like Moses, the, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, the bush mm-hmm. is coming back. The bush is coming the bush back. Bush is coming back. I welcome like, it back too. I don't. Yeah, uh, you know, it's been that. a while. You know, it's been twenty years of the same thing. Fuck it, do something different. Bring it back, dude. Bring back yeah. the bush. Uh, Bring by the back. way, Jared and I developed this product called Giant Shine. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. It's a, a lot like it's turtle a, wax. It's a, it's a wax. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a wax. wax. Yeah, very much. That's so a like giant shine giant. That's the that's yeah. the slogan. That's, that's a giant slogan. shine giant. That's a giant shine giant. It's it's Great. for sundress season, so it's not for the winter. No, no. just in case you, you go know. mail in the, the row and your, yep. your skirt blows up. You want like, like a yep. you want a nice crisp. Season is in. Dan, are you partaking? 
Yeah. Uh, no. What not. is it? I'm consider. I'm considering it. What? Oh, Jared Taylor's considering what? getting into a fucking ill-timed relationship. <laughs> Holy shit, folks. Cuffing season? Is that what you said? Cuffing. Cuffing. It's cuffing. It's, 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 you girlfriend up for the winter. Yes. You you always okay. it's October. You find you find the girlfriend, you know, and then March first, you're done. Like that was it. You just needed it for the winter, you know, all the holiday parties. Correct. Sure. Correct. Sure, 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 sure. Like, Anybody who yeah, went to cold. school up north knows you've got to get a winter quarter girlfriend. Because it's too fucking cold to go to the bars. However, Jared, you live in San Antonio, Texas. So Well, here's the thing. I you see, you have a different okay, I've never heard that before because I learned about this when I lived in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. And that's because Fort Walton and Destin is is a, a giant tourist town. Yes. So October like fifth. Uh -huh. it, it is like a light switch. The town goes from, you know, having an influx of seventy to a hundred thousand people yep. that are just there for weekends to ghost to yeah. to back to the normal population so locals the whole only thing was is yeah locals only yeah. you girlfriend up a local until march 1st when the season, season starts, starts again starts oh, yeah. Yeah. yes yeah, yeah, yeah. yes and people yes. come into town so it's like okay there's a mutual understanding there it's yeah. like hey you know is it mutual though <laughs> It, the girl it, probably the, the, doesn't know. No, right? the, girl that, the girls that I chose were always like, yeah, dude, March 1st. Like, here's you know. here's, oh, well, good here's what we're going to do. We got tourists coming into town. Here's yeah. what we're going to do. We're going to make an official Drinking Bros cuffing season contract. Ah, oh, I, I like, like we'll that. Put it yeah, right there. Like it. Let's do that. Let's put it on the site. Yep. You can download it. <laughs> yes. You submit it. Um, and I think we need a cuffing season shirt, too. Oh man, a yeah. cuffing season shirt sure, would be great. What, what, what would up. be the yeah, the exact dates for that? You probably want to go November I, I, through February. I think November first through no March first. March it's November first yeah. through March first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. well, the end of February. Yeah, because yeah. if you go November first, you still get to be slutty on Halloween, which everybody loves to do. Correct. That. Yes. So you're not you're not. It's the day after a new relationship. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. day after you go for it. Let's do a cuffing contract. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, you and I have to partake. We have five to just six days to fucking find a seven. Easy. Uh, that's, yeah, thirty-one days in Halloween, but uh, sure. October should October. be easy. Uh, yeah. So, by the way, just to to cap the end of it, Valentine's Day is the fourteenth of February. That gives you another two weeks to cut that shit out after Correct. Valentine's. So yes. that it's not yeah. just you right do, after. Yeah. I mean, Valentine's mm. Day is your last hurrah. Like yeah. you go, yeah, 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 yeah. You go yeah. all yeah. out. Go on a mini you, vacation, do butt yeah, stuff, you do the whole deal. Fun. Sure. Yeah, really get it, and then and then that that last two weeks is that transition. Like, okay, you know, all right, it's time. Maybe and, maybe and it's, do and a, it's just like this, and it's you can you can see it going yeah, yeah. away, it's and like then boom, the cuff week, is over. A week change. Oh, okay. yeah, so maybe you do the Could you, uh, maybe you do the threesome on Valentine's Day, ah, because after that, yeah, it usually takes yeah. about two weeks for the relationship to end. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. perfect. Isn't that um, right, Jared? I, this is a great idea. <laughs> I would like to, once we create the contract, though, I really want to see, I want to hear stories from people that, that actually do it because I want to hear the, the end of the contract. You well, know, you I know, see the if both people are ending it, entering in with the contract, yeah. I want to see how it goes. I want to see people that are able to do it. And we'll enforce it, too. If we find out yes. that you're still dating after the contract ends, we will fucking, oh, yeah. we will yeah. murder you're done. both Problem of is, you. Jared will get married. We will fucking murder both of <laughs> you. I'll, I'll go a step further. I think we should have a cuffing court where we're the judges, and then we hear their, oh, yeah. we hear their cuffing oh. case. We should hear their, if they, if they want to stay together and they want to extend the contract for the rest of 2020, yes. they have to submit to us. Yeah, and say, and, hey. And we do the show hearing out their case, and then we decide as the, as the family court judges. Well, we are going to be filming uh, Drink It Bros, Bachelor and Bachelorette in the spring. <laughs> yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah, you know what? We'll probably push that to March. Yeah, we should do it after you know, this. After now. cuffing season yeah. Yeah. now, yeah. Yeah, we do after cuffing season. We go yeah. bachelor we go bachelor first. Um and Dan is the bachelor. Yep. Yep. I am the host. Yes. Um I come up with the contest on the spot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um uh, and that's gonna be that. So you know? Jared's gonna be on some sort of drug probably and he's just gonna come up with a contest right there on the spot. Yeah. I mean I know I know the first <laughs> contest. I mean, I'm gonna buy a pallet of beer. Uh huh. And the, all the girls have to drink the beer and create armor out of uh, the beer cases. Best suit of armor, you know, wins. And then uh, you get and then two of them have to fight and the loser gets, you know, not a rose like jou jousting style fighting. Or yeah, something jousting like that. style yeah, yeah. fighting. So you're going to get an you're going to get a fucking multi tool like a Gerber. 
right? Perfect. Gerber oh, knife and yeah. and a bunch of tape and a bunch of fucking duct tape and that's it. Yeah. I, li- yeah, I like I like all it. that, and that's going to go down on, at the ranch in San Antonio, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. No, no, we're probably going to do it in North Carolina. Too. We'll we'll rent oh, we a could beach do it house. At, yeah, we could do it at the beach. Uh, there's not enough room for no, fucking no. You need a bigger beach. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Rent, <laughs> We just need to rent one for yeah. three days. Like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. this is the condensed version. And so it's out of season there, so you could get a you could get a really cheap oh, yeah, rental, like a big house. Yeah, and like and then we'll select. We'll select our uh, female contestants. We need eight eight female contestants and two males for The Bachelor. Yep. Whoa. Uh, uh, sorry. I thought I heard two males. No, it's 2019, well, and it'll be 2020 yeah, tw- by then. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it is what it is, guy. <laughs> it is, it what, is, it is. what it is. Hey, it's up to is Dan it? to vote him off, and yeah. we'll see yeah. what he does. He may fucking just connect with them, though. Yeah, you, you know, know what know. I mean? Yeah. Maybe I'll meet you don't my, know. Maybe I'll meet my best friend. Oh, man. Oh. And then, hey, then we'll start banging each other for the, Yeah, for whatever. eternity I don't know what gay dudes do I was I making fun it, of my right? buddy that's pretty that's much it. married to a dude the other day I was giving him shit Who, Nick? And, uh, yeah, and of course, you know, he fires right back at me What'd you do Sunday? Probably get yelled at, bitched at, and had resting bitch face all day? Yeah, me and fucking my dude sucked each other's dicks and played video games Then mowed the lawn together <laughs> Fuck yeah. you I had a fucking blast <laughs> Seriously and Dan, Man, the, gosh, I think that's yeah. the lifestyle that you need You've got the, you've got two small dogs The marketing <laughs> for gay people is so much better than it is for Yeah people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like to go out You love watching sports You've got yeah. two small dogs You just, just need been, another man to suck, to suck his dick It's a better Well, Milo was all over me So maybe I can steal him Whoa. Hey, hey, Ooh. if you're gonna go anywhere I'd go to Milo Yeah Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd fucking let Milo take me out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, let's let's get to the breaking news. news first. Oh, you got some you got some breaking news? Fire away. Uh, I I I achieved a lifelong dream and goal. I was a co-star in a Brandon Rogers video. No way. Nice. With with speaking. With speaking. Ooh. Ooh. You fancy now. And it's it is gonna be really funny. <laughs> he he Brandon because Rogers, in, in my opinion, is the best comedian. On YouTube, on by YouTube. far. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Out, that's true. A- absolute fact. Um, and the best part about this is, is it was Sam. Like, I never thought, I thought he had retired Sam. So uh-huh. I thought, like, I missed my chance to be in a Sam video, which is one of his characters that's my favorite character. Yeah. Um, but no, Sam came back, and we have a video where Sam directs a music video. No oh way. Oh, my gosh. That's great. <laughs> yeah. God, Brandon Perfect. Rogers is the fucking best. Uh, let's get to the news, shall we? And we'll right, get, we'll, we'll, we're going to start with the worst of the week. Um, yeah. Dan, I, this this was last night, man. We were up late with this one, and this yeah. this one's an actual true story that's, really, that's going on. Yeah, glad Dan was able to speak to Natalie, so Dan can can really talk about this subject. Exactly. This is a Green Beret Sergeant First Class uh, Richard uh, Stayscal. Uh, attempting to sue the Department of Defense for medical malpractice. Uh, Maggie from Coffee or Die magazine wrote a piece on this, which a lot of you guys have have already yeah. read. Um, but, Dan, you ended up talking to his lawyer and everything else. You guys got real deep into this last night. Yeah, I mean, uh, his his attorney's name is uh, Natalie uh, Quam, by okay. the way. She's a fucking rock star. Very, she, she, she helps a lot of people that are in situations like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, anyways, uh, the short version is that uh, Stay Skull was shot in 2004 when he, he was with the Marine Corps, right? And he eventually transitioned over to the Army. Um, apparently, doctors left part of the bullet inside of him. Um, and it never showed up on scans for a long time. Okay. Which is uh, medical malpractice, by the way. Yes, it is. <clears throat> then in January this year, it started showing up on scans. And not only was it showing up, but it was being documented by doctors and the progression of it was being documented, but nothing was being done about it. And then he goes to dive school, right, which is probably the hard. I don't, I don't know, Jared, about this, yeah, but I think, the, dive, the school, I think yeah. dive school in the Army is probably the hardest school in the entire military. Yes. Mm-hmm. So he starts, Absolutely. like, coughing his lungs out and all this shit. Turns out he's got stage three fucking cancer in his lungs. Because of the bullet? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and why did they, did they ever try to attempt to remove it? I don't know about all that, but, but now... The problem is, is that we're dealing with something called the Ferris Doctrine. So it's it's a it's a Supreme Court case, I believe, that says uh, the ruling was that you that a service member cannot sue the Department of Defense for medical malpractice, mm-hmm. no matter what. And the intent behind it is <clears throat> that 
if somebody gets an experimental treatment, if they're a test pilot and fucking the plane blows up and they have to get some experimental treatment or whatever the fuck, that they can't sue the government because of that. Got so it. in principle, it makes sense. Yeah, but this isn't the 1940s anymore. Yeah. We're not strapping people to <clears throat> missiles that we think might work or rockets and things like that. Like, I mean, that's that's the thing. As you look at this video of Lindsey Graham making a comment, he just makes himself look like a fucking <coughs> retard because he's fucking he's like, well, well, you know, we got pilots with experimental airplanes like motherfucker. We've had two new airplanes in the last like 20 years. Yeah, so you have 22 and you have 35 and. They're fifth generation fighters. We're not we're not experimenting anymore yep. like we were. Rocket in the 1940s. Rocket Propulsion's been yeah. around for a while now. But <laughs> like, you can take this Ferris doctrine to ridiculous links. Like, for example, if you went into if let's say you're a soldier, you get your fucking leg fucked up and it's gotta get amputated. Mm -hmm. You go into the emergency room at on an army base and they cut off the wrong leg, you get shit. Like, you cannot sue the government for yeah. that. Really? Like, egregious medical malpractice you cannot sue for it. And that includes your family members. Your family members that are on TRICARE, they go in for a medical procedure on post, and they get fucked up. They can't sue. So who's, uh, who's all to blame here uh, for this? And then and how do we correct this? Well, I mean, there's, there's a bill on the table now to fix it. And Lindsey Graham is the one that's stopping, that's kind of fucking just stopping it in its tracks, which is... Yeah. <laughs> kind of funny because he supported the one for the right for prisoners, felony people with felonies to be able to sue the doctors that work on them. Yeah. You know, so he, here's, so he here's, doesn't make any here's fucking what's, sense. He's here's the one who didn't support the 9-11 one, correct? Yeah, he's yeah. a total piece of shit. By the way, he's, I uh, believe, a JAG attorney, right? In the, in the Air Force Reserve or some shit like that. Like Lindsey Graham is a he was a, he is or was a member of the military. He, he's a years. smart guy. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't. <clears throat> You wouldn't know that he was a member of the military, but uh, he doesn't. He sure should. Yeah, well, he, here's, here's what here's, like, what, here's what happened, though. I'll, I'll run you through the whole thing. So this got put before Congress and there was bipartisan support. Jerry Nadler, who's a giant piece of shit, by mm -hmm. the way, um, he is the head of the fucking judicial uh, committee, judiciary mm -hmm. committee in the House. So he said what, what they had the opportunity to do was the J judiciary committee could cede control of this and give it to armed forces. And they the armed forces committee. Uh, in the House, put it on the NDAA, the National Defense Bill, for the year, saying that, yes, this can happen now. They, they fixed it. They sent it to the Senate, and people generally agree that they should do this again. The problem is that Lindsey Graham is the chairman of the uh, Senate Judiciary Committee, and he refuses to let this go through. It is one man stopping this, Lindsey Graham, who is a veteran this himself. This is bullshit. It's, he's like, a veteran himself, and you know what? Uh, the biggest part of this is that he's up for re-election, this upcoming year. Yes. A lot of people up for re-election this, this upcoming year. Well, this is this is where we need we need the we need the group and everybody. <laughs> yeah. Get on fucking Twitter and light Lindsey's Grant Lindsey Lindsey Graham's ass on fire. Yeah, let me give you a little bit more information okay. on this too. So his major donors are uh military industrial complex whores like Raytheon, General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin, people mm -hmm. like that. That's where he gets all of his campaign money. Yeah. And by the way, when they're doing military contracts, if they expose people to something like depleted uranium, for example, and cause Gulf War syndrome and hundreds of thousands of people, then they can't be sued either because of this. Man. So he is protecting his fucking money people. That's what I was just going to ask is why complex. is he doing it? Yeah. Fuck this piece of shit. I fucking... We, this this can't fucking happen in this country. No, like, it shouldn't. And there's no goddamn. This way. is one of those things <laughs> we need to come together. I spoke to Tim Kennedy about it today. Mm -hmm. He's he's read in now. He's on board with us. Like like, we've got to we got to call all of our friends. <laughs> so all right, Lindsey Graham has Twitter. I, I know all of these guys have a direct number. Yeah. Um, if if we can get his direct number in as well, that would be and email. Yeah, ex Flood exactly. This motherfucker. Because they're government officials, they, there has to be a direct number and there's yeah. got to be an email. So uh, pull that up. But look, this isn't the first well, time. No, what frustrates me the most is if you watch the interview and I'll, I'll send you. I, I, I think I sent Dan the, the uh, video file, but yeah. I'll send it to you, too. It's the way he comments. Somebody, you know, number one, he tra he uses this p p test pilot thing, which which it's you know, antiquated that, as fuck. That only covers this much of a fucking massive spectrum. It's like shut the fuck up. Your reasoning was dumb. Number one. Number two, uh, he's asked by the reporter if he will meet with Richard, and he says yes, but it's not going to change my mind. Now, Lindsay needs to fucking wake the fuck up and understand. I don't give a shit about his opinion. 
We don't give a shit about his opinion. We don't need to change your mind, Lindsay. You're going to do what the fuck your people tell you they want you to do, not what you fucking feel like you should do. Yeah, because you are an elected official. Uh, let me ask you this. Is, is he close to death or is he? He's terminal. So he is terminal. Yeah, we're running out of time here Okay, with yes. this guy. And not just like the guy. It's, it's terminal cancer. He's going to die. There's, I mean, unfortunate to say that, and it's kind of harsh, but that is the reality of the situation. And the other thing is the NDAA is going to be passed sometime soon. So we're running out of time on this, and it's uh, Lindsey Graham's turn to step up. And I can tell you this. If you don't, we're going to fuck you up. Like, and you're up for re-election one. That's number one. Yeah. And no, we'll be the biggest enemies against yeah. fucking Graham's yeah. re-election. We, we will fucking, like, we will come after you with every fucking resource we have, personally and in the veteran community. And I, I can tell you that. And also, it's not just about your re-election. We will make you an outcast in American society if you don't fucking stop this shit. Where, what state is he in? Do you know? South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. And here, here's his phone oh, number. We, we, could get, we, could get a good, we could get a good bunch in South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Oh, make, yeah. make him feel real warm oh, and dude. comfortable. Oh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll... We'll find some of his uh, his little galas that he's holding, and we'll show up with a you know a couple hundred of our friends. Yeah. yeah what's Here, uh, read his phone number? Here's, his, here's the phone number for his DC office. It's two zero two 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 four five nine seven two. Again, that's two zero two. Can we put it up on the video? Yes. Jamie. Two zero two 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 four five nine seven two. Uh, let Dan, this guy I'm, I'm, I apologize. It. I'm going to need to hear that one more time. It was in the right ear mm -hmm. that I couldn't hear mm -hmm. that all the way. It's 202 mm -hmm. 224 5972. I want this guy's phone ringing off the hook until he changes his mind. Yeah, so give uh, Senator uh, Lindsey Graham a call and uh, see if, if he's uh, willing to let this slide. My, my one question to you is if he does, will this open up the floodgates for a lot of lawsuits? Is that. Is that another reason why a, he might be doing this? Sure. There's plenty of people probably waiting in line for this with similar stories. Yeah. Like, but I mean, that's not, that is not a fucking legitimate reason to not do it. Not at all. By the way. Not at all. I, look, it, it, this should be, the law should change. Yeah. If you get fucked up in war or in the military, they should pay for that. If you get fucked up by a doctor. By a doctor. By a doctor, That was yeah. not yeah. doing his job. Yeah. Yep. So, so give him a you, call. You got two choices. Get him on the fucking Lindsay. horn. You got two choices. You can do what the fuck is right, or you can not get reelected, and you can be a fucking disgrace to the uniform that you once wore. Those are your two options. I guarantee you, we'll, we'll fucking come at you hard, bro. I mean, I don't give a shit about yeah, you. Yeah, we will. I don't give a shit <laughs> about you or your fucking prestige oh, or that your campaign, lifelong. That campaign is going to be a fucking nightmare for him. Oh, yeah. Uh, look. We're going to have fun. Uh, South Carolina is teetering anyway, so uh, we'll, see. we'll see. I don't know who's running against him. But uh, we'll find out. And I don't care what we'll, their fucking we'll make policies our own are. anti anti fucking Lindsay fucking commercials. And guess what? What's he fucking going to do? Yeah. Hey, ask, ask <laughs> yeah. Tim Kennedy if he wants to be on the show to discuss it. That'd be great. Tim's Tim's a great guy to yeah. have on the show. Awesome. Yeah, we'll do. J uh, Jamie Harrison is the Democrat running against him right now. The main one anyways. Gotcha. Um, is there anybody challenging him for his seat? I don't know. On the we, Republican side. Uh, I doubt it. I, I seriously doubt it. But That's we, the thing about these elections, man. <clears throat> Nobody challenged these motherfuckers for years and years and years and years, man. It's crazy. Uh, we will. We got an announcement next That's week. It's our fault. <laughs> it is. It is, dude. Uh, look, every American can run. I mean, we should reach should out to this, to this guy running against him, too, about, about using this as a hardcore pivot on, in his campaign. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is, this, is, this is ammo that makes you look like a piece of shit human. This is this is things that make you that Lindsay is making himself completely out to what we what what we aren't supposed to stand for of these big interest groups, these fucking industrial military complex fucking people that he's protecting and all this bullshit like fuck him. Yeah. Fuck Lindsey Graham. So call him. Give him a call. Oh, one more time with that number, Dan, if you have it, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is, uh, is there an email? We're going to put it on the <laughs> screen, but yeah, it's, go ahead. It's 202. There it is. 224-5972. So let's show Lindsey Graham the same respect that he's showing our service members. You bet. Give him a, we'll give him a jangle. We'll By the way, a jangle. Yeah, By the way jang. I know it's early in the show, but uh, this is my get fucked of the fucking century right now until this changes. Yeah. Fuck this piece of shit. Of the year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, let's uh, we'll turn to the next story. The scariest haunted house in the U.S. 
requires a 40 page waiver, a doctor's note, and a Dude, safe word. I, you, so, guys, you guys are now talking about this? I sent this to Dan last no. year. So he, said, here's the thing. So Jesse and I d- discussed this on Ross Patterson Re- Revolution yeah. last year. And then this the year Netflix. And last year, yeah. Yeah, this year and last year. The, the Netflix documentary came out about it last year. Uh, um, yeah, what is it called? Ha- Haunters, the art of the scare, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, the art of yeah. the scare. Yeah, but yeah. I here's what I had said last <laughs> year: there was no way, with all of the sensitivity and the bullshit going on, that this would last into this year. And then here we are, and they've been releasing photos yeah. of people just weeping. I, I, the, nobody's made it through twenty minutes. Of no, the as a new, matter of, no, as, as no, a matter of fact, it's, it's you, what is it? Eight hours? Yeah, it's yeah. long. It's long, and you also get uh, twenty thousand dollars if you finish the course. Correct, and nobody's finished. And, and, no one. And Jared what I, could do what and I remember the entry, from last the entry year. fee is five bags of dog food to feed the dude's yep. dogs. There's yep. no money involved. You just mm-hmm. have to buy his dogs dog food. And he's Are you a creepy yes. looking motherfucker. Remember <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He's ex-military. So, right? yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. so what I saw last year is that all the people that made it all the way through ended up working for it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Almost all the people that that made it all the way through are now part of the show. Gotcha. Well, <laughs> well, nobody's made it finished. Completely finished it. There was, I think, the longest one was uh, there was there was a guy on the documentary who mm-hmm. went. He was the furthest to go, but still, he was nowhere near close to the end. The photos I saw were uh, pliers on teeth, um, and these are on the people themselves. Now, yeah. he wasn't actually pulling out their teeth, and they were soaked in <laughs> some type of liquid. It, it appeared as if it was someone else's blood as well. Yep. And then there was a cage around uh, one of the guy's heads um, with holes in it, and it was plastic, and it was just snakes and rodents and uh, you name it. I, I think, you know, speaking of, of one guy who could probably do it, there was only one guy that came to mind, and it was Tim Kennedy. Dead serious. <laughs> yeah, right? He like he, that's the guy, right? They would they would turn the light they uh, the would turn is, the lights off like, and it, the lights would come back on and he, all the fucking rodents would be gone. He would have eaten all of them, kind of like Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a thing on Drinking Bros today that was asking if all of us would do it from the podcast and nope. then share our experience from it. No. Nope. No, because dude, it's 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 just stuff that like I don't want to do. I mean, you in, in <laughs> the labor, it says <laughs> Yeah, it, it says, also hey, takes, I mean, you, might be, yeah. you might be told to eat your own shit. Like, you know what? I'm good. You like, don't. That's but also, not scary. Yeah. What were yeah. you like, going to say? I've been in in simulated captivity before. Like, they don't tell new. you to eat your own shit, but they'll they'll make you think that you are are, are eating your own shit. Yeah. You can't or make somebody's. me think something if I know that it's not real. Then you can't make me think it's real. No, I've done too many drugs. I, I don't know. Yeah. So I, I was watching. Uh, there's this show, this podcast that's on YouTube, uh, and it's it's a video. You've got to watch the video. It's called The Hot Ones. Yeah, it's about the oh, hot yeah, wings, yeah, yeah. right? Every single person that I've seen complains about their asshole, um, like numbing up, and they feel like they're they're shitting their pants, although they're not shitting their pants. Maybe that's part of it. And then everybody's shivering Wait. towards the end. No, but that's that's Wait. no that that's part of it though. It's it's a mental thing. Like I've been on hardcore hallucinogens uh-huh. for extended periods of time. And a lot of things happen and you you have to reconcile with your brain like this is not real. So But most people yeah. can't do that. Is Mo- the that's correct, yeah. yeah. But I, I wouldn't be here's why I wouldn't be able to do this. I'm gonna read some of the requirements to get into this bitch. So yeah. first of all, you gotta be twenty one or older. You gotta sign the fucking forty page all right. whatever the Check. fuck. Yeah. Uh you have to complete a sports physical and have a doctor's letter saying you're physically and mentally cleared to do this. Okay. Done. I yeah. can't do okay. that. <clears throat> Maybe. You have to Maybe. pass a you have to pass a background <laughs> check. We all have security clearances, so that's easy. Um You guys yep. do. Yeah. Their staff screens you via FaceTime ah. to make sure that you're like not gonna freak out too bad. Sure. Uh, you have to bring your proof yeah. of medical insurance. And then the kicker for me is that you have to pass a portable drug test, which I can never do. No, that's There's, where you're, you're, you're gone. What the hell? What the hell kind of? That's a stupid requirement. It's no fun. Well, those portable drug tests only really measure stuff you've done in the last like five to seven days, for the most part. It's the same ones recruiters use, and you know they're not looking too hard. Because <laughs> uh, really, they're all yeah, we're oh, yeah. good, we're good. That's hilarious. So reported. This is this is actually part of the story. Apparently, this place is so "quote unquote" good at what he does. Like the guy is so good at what he does. Yeah, that people have sued him for shit that never actually happened because he videos everything. Yes, like they've sued him for shit that never. They tell their story and then he shows the video and is like, "None of that ever happened." Here's the video and they're like, yeah. "Holy shit!" Yeah. Uh, 
it, it's, that's pretty it's impressive. Super fucked up. It's in Tennessee. Here's the deal: you will yeah. win. You'll win twenty k if you finish. So if any of you guys out there want to try it, we'll throw on another five k if you can finish. This. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I, if you again, can go do this, oh, my if, money's on one guy. And that, that's when, when I was reading the story yesterday. Tim Kennedy. Tim wouldn't person. do it though. He wouldn't do it. First Why of all, not? he doesn't need twenty thousand dollars. A and yeah. then B, it's he's like, like, this is fucking B, stupid. Like, yeah, that's and that's my whole thing on it too. It's like, yeah, I get it. Like you're gonna you're gonna simulate like, uh, fuck. You know what I watched last night? Midsummer. Have you seen that yet? Mm. No. Ne- none of you have. Night no. stream. No, what no, is no, it? No, what no, is no. This? Midsummer. It's uh, oh, the, oh, the oh, director yes. of uh, that's how you Hereditary. Spell, that's how you it's spell just, Midsummer. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Second film, but it's it's kind of it's kind of down that road. They were they were drugging mm. these people, so they're like hallucinating, and they don't really know. They start to not know what's real and what's not. So it's MK Ultra. I mean, yeah. Look, uh, I heard Hereditary is really good. By the way, no, it's that? not. It's, it's not super good. fucked up. G- it is, but it's good. at the, there was no ending, and j- you and I were just like, eh. It's just hey, contrived. You know bullshit. what though? Mm-hmm. He, it wasn't. Here's here's the deal about it. If you watch, if you go watch Hereditary Explained, uh-huh. like there's a really popular YouTube video on it. It'll click, and you'll go, "Oh shit, that's fucked up." I had to do that. I've seen Hereditary like four times, but <clears throat> I still was like. Okay, what did all the and I you know, everybody on YouTube, you yeah, know, yeah. there's something for everybody on YouTube. I go, you know, what I don't get am I missing something here? And once I watch that ten minute video that like they show you all the hidden things in the movie of how the director is exp- is explaining the story and then it it explains to you what, what it is and you're like, Oh shit, I that's was really gu- I was up. gonna say how good can a movie be if it needs explaining like that? But if you remember Donnie Darko, it came with that book. Uh, the history of time travel. Do you remember that shit? Yeah, I but I still it liked it before that. It was good without it. But it yes. was it was really good. But yeah. with if, it, but with it, it was great. Like the okay. the explanation of that stuff. If was you so here's watch the, the explanation with, and watch the movie again, the movie will be scarier. To so you. should I watch now the movie first and then watch on? the explanation and then watch the movie again? No, yes. If you haven't seen it, just watch the explanation okay. first because then you'll know what you're looking for. By the way, fuck Lindsey Graham. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh just shit, I forgot him. about that. <laughs> yeah, fuck Lindsey Graham. Man, you, all, you guys almost forgot about that. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, um, pretty soon he'll be a ghost, and that'll lead us into our next sponsor, Ghostbed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. You get a nice tee on Dan. Uh, they got nice T-shirts now. They do. These are actually these are uh, level pretty, up, right? Yeah, level uh, butter soft. Next level. Next level. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those are nice. Those are nice tri blends. Butter soft, you said. They got yeah. nice <laughs> deals there, too, at yes, ghostbed.com like forward slash butter. drinking bros. Uh, they got a 36 month pay as you go program. No interest. No one on the internet is doing that. It's like 38 bucks a month. Yeah. Uh, for them shits. Uh, and the, the look, if, if you're military or first responder, you know this. You get 15% off everything in the store forever, and that's fucking amazing. For us regular humans like uh, Jesse and myself, they've got a Halloween deal that is off the goddamn chain, dude. Uh, so go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. There's like a, some people are getting a wheel, like a little oh, yeah, wheel yeah, yeah. of fortune that rolls pop up. up. Yeah. It's a pop up on the. Um, yeah, yeah. And that's a nice fucking thing. Yeah. Um, but it's it sleeps so good, it's scary. And we're seven days away from Halloween, Jesse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You know what's I'm funny? I'm decorating you... tomorrow. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Ooh, this is Halloween. This, this is, is Halloween. Halloween. This is Halloween. There hasn't been a train through here in 80 years. Yeah, oh. I, that's how we decorate. Mm-mm. So we yep. decorate in voices, Every time. very old timey. It is really, really nice. And Dan. that song is gonna catch on. Yes, go Dan. Um, if you order your ghost bed now, it'll be here by Halloween. It will be. It will be. Fun. Hey, did you get yours, Jared? Yeah, mine is here. It is there. Oh, you fuck! It's great. Uh, awesome. Take a fucking video of it and uh, pop it up on your Instagram. I will. That way everyone <laughs> will. can see the world don't, of it. Not like that, I, Jared. I will Friday night. No, I don't want that. We don't want that video. After Sorry. 80 White yeah, They yep. said, they, like, the guys from Ghost Brother, like, look, we'll, we'll, send you, we'll send Jared a mattress, but it's Jared. We want him to do something fucked up and, and have it on one of his stories. Because mm-hmm. people love your stories. Yeah, you should have fucked Brandon Rogers on that. <laughs> yeah. I probably will, you know. Yeah, you can. What's your What's your Instagram story? What's your handle again? Uh, JT Article Fifteen. There we go. So follow him, and then look what, for whatever fucked up shit he does on his ghost. <laughs> uh, bed. No, we have all the Sierra Hotel Echo Girls in town come Friday night, and uh, 
I think a majority of them are sharing that ghost bed. Whoa, they get down like that? So I'll have to take something crazy. Yeah. Uh, Did they get down like that? Are you going to party with them? I I have no idea. I haven't met them yet. You're single. You're single, though, still, right? Just checking? Yes. Okay. Okay. We haven't started the contract yet. All it's right. not until November 1st. I thought I'd ask you because it's, you know, I have a, a, a hey. feeling you're hey. putting out little feelers to girls behind the thing. Just saying, hey, wait, wait till seven days. Let's not go public until seven days. <laughs> That's my guess. That's my guess. No, I told you. I have a, I have a year. Uh, I've, I've enacted a full 165 day uh, uh, grace period. Okay. Look, I, I, I hope it sticks, but there's well, no way you have it to will. Know me what are you talking for, about, dude? You have to know me for one year, and then if you've known me for a year and you still want to be romantically involved... Oh, we'll, boy. We'll, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that, because like you'll be uh, single. Single single from here on forever. out. Forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless they own a microwave factory for those hot dogs. Uh, next up, we get hey, a Texas. You got a freezer full. Yeah, you do. Uh, we get a <laughs> Texas <laughs> jury that ruled against a divorced dad trying to stop a seven-year-old son's gender transition. Jeffrey Younger filed a petition to get sole custody of his twin sons to prevent the mother from beginning hormone replacement therapy. <sighs> and a Texas jury in Dallas denied the petition. This one is fucking crazy, man. How the fuck? Who the so fuck was on this jury? Up. Exactly. Fuck this jury. Where yeah. was it? Like, Dallas. 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 That's surprising, Interesting. dude. Interesting. Is it? it is. Is te- let me ask you yeah. this, Jared. Is Texas flipping? No. Not not where yeah. I live. Well, well I, actually, San Antonio is a purple city now for sure. It, it is. Yeah. But yeah. Bernie's not. But San Antonio no, is. is not. Because San were- Antonio goes for Democrats more f- often than not. They voted for Beto. Beto. Oh, yeah. Beto. Beto. Robert. Robert. My bad. Bobby O'Rourke. Yeah. Bobby. Um, because last time we were, because we were in Dallas a few weeks ago and we went out and yep. I was like, oh, this. A lot of hipsters. Kind of hipster ish. Yeah. It's, it's the same as Nashville. Hollywood is like moving there rapidly because California And sucks. Austin, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, California is full of shit. Yep. So I look, if this is happening in Dallas, <laughs> um, then this is uh, definitely starting to. You know, a to video turn. dropped today of, uh, of the kid, actually. It was about an hour ago. Of the dad asking the kid questions, and the kid's like, "Yeah, mommy keeps calling me a girl, and she oh my makes god, me wear dr- she makes me wear dresses. Ugh. She says I'm a girl. Like, okay, <laughs> this woman is fucking crazy. Yes, take the kids away from her. Yes. Yeah, if you look, like, this is cut and dry. If you're, why do we have to get a jury in this? You could go, oh, that woman is but crazy. But how can we give hormone replace? How can a doctor even do that? I think is the more interesting question, yeah, right? Yeah, because Jesse, I, I, as a mom, right, we have two sons as well. Yes. Same as this. Could you imagine at seven years old? Could you imagine them making a decision that says, "You know what? I'd like to become a girl." Uh, can I imagine them making the decision? I mean, mentally. M- mentally, maybe, but I would not give anyone any medicine or anything like that hormone replacement. Until yeah. they're yeah, you at can dress past like a girl 18. You, you can dress like girl. You can do whatever do, the fuck you 18, want. Yeah. You can figure out if you still like this. But I feel the same way. force it? Like, yeah. this is fucking lunacy. By, yeah. the, by the way, starting this drug now will almost guarantee this kid will never, ever be able to have children. Absolutely. And, yeah, it's like getting kids' <clears throat> tubes tied. Or I wouldn't give yeah, a you seven-year-old uh, antidepressants. Like, there's the the the, no. the brain and the body is not fully formed. You can't. D- that should be illegal. He, this guy shouldn't even have to ask this question. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it should just up, be yeah. illegal, and <clears throat> you can have you know therapy about it until you're 18. But I think we're right? we're living in a fucking crazy fantasy world of some sort. Like Mario Lopez comes out and says, "I don't think three year olds are equipped to make lifetime decisions like that." Canceled, yeah. and he He's gets canceled. fucking lit up. The nicest human being on earth. Seriously, that was just posing a question the same way that we're doing. Like, listen, I just kind of feel we like we need to. Oh my god, what we need to start over oh, as a god. society. Start over. Oh no, we need to eradicate the fucking country from these types of people. Well, it's, it's funny you said that. It's, the it's funny doctors, you said that. Though I mean, are, yeah. we're yeah. It, look, it, it's the doctors, but it's also people in general. And there was a there was another article that came out today that said fifty six percent of the country supports a civil war, uh, not because of politics, but because of this type of shit too. Where it's just like, 
Come yeah, on, man. Yes. Anybody who supports this type of shit for a seven year old, yeah. get the fuck out. Here's yeah. what we need. Here's what I want to do. Hunger Games. Uh, yeah. yeah. Everybody's oh. tracking on that. Yeah. We'll, we'll separate the country into seven or 13. I guess it was 13 districts back then. Mm -hmm. One of them is underground because they got nuked. Right. Right. Uh, that'll be California. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> we'll separate the country into different districts. Actually, there's no way that United States should be one country at this point. Like, no. it, it just shouldn't. This is how and everybody gets all like super flag waving and chest beating patriot we're gonna keep it together not really why why do we need to keep it together like countries evolve over time and become different countries right rome yeah. rome covered most of europe at some point mm -hmm. even into uh northern africa and and pretty much the entire middle east as well for a little while so that changed when new people came to power different opinions religions formed all this other shit people become different and it becomes unreasonable to govern govern them as one people so let me ask let, let me true. ask you this in, in a round table then uh starting with you jared do you go north and south or do you go east and west on, on, a, on a country split east and west uh no it, no it doesn't really work i mean you uh, but let, let's say you new. could let's say you could right and you're and you're splitting it into <laughs> two because just based on, and we'll go politics in this one, just based no, on the election where it's Nevada, 50 50. You want Nevada, Arizona. You want Colorado. Like, you can't have it I, all. So you, you, you're either east or west or north or south. What do you I got? I just go Texas. You know what? Fucking put the wall around Texas and say fucking. But whatever. Dallas is where this is going down right <laughs> exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah, I know. So you know, can't. Well, we just kick them out. You know, <laughs> it's our new country. We can, I, I, I say uh, it's not about a. Uh, 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 binary division like that it's not yeah. one versus two it's like california should be its own country oh, okay i, and you I have believe more that. than two i believe that they should be their own country yeah absolutely and they can rent the use of our military they can rent the military they can rent their electricity their and they water can rent their water yeah like and, it's really interesting and their food. i've never yeah. i've never heard renting military and water and well i mean the u.s well, that's well that's the thing is all these all argue the, the 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 people that argue you know that are all for California becoming its own fucking nation and their argument is we're the the eighth largest economy in the world yeah sixth. but you don't have any resources yeah they're the sixth largest you don't largest have your own water you don't have your own electric your own your own power you don't have your own defense so go for it yeah i i, I can't I, put out fires i absolutely think that california should be its own country well, look, California is asked would that. Love that. They would love that. They've asked it at certain points. They've also uh, tried to put a bill in that splits it into two as well. Yeah. Um, oh, no. They wanted to be like 13 new states. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. And then they narrowed it down Go to ahead. two. Go Knock ahead. yourself out. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe in this fucking, no, the, this purest idea of America. Because first of all, we didn't even get the last state until our parents' lifetime. Yep. Right. Our parents were children when the last state signed up. Yeah, right? Alaska. So and, yeah. and and we were fucking children when the last amendment to the Constitution was made. So get fucked with all this purest bullshit. Like I'm a constitutional originalist. No, you're not. Nobody is. You can't be. There's yeah. 27 goddamn amendments, dude. Yeah, you can't be a constitutional. Originalist. It changes over time. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> keeps by the way, the the uh, uh, if you're a constitutional originalist, then you don't believe in the first or second amendments, which are ones that we like. I believe. Yeah, is that right? We like those. Um. I can go either way. Four. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse doesn't need freedom of speech. The really. fourth. No. I'm not a big fan. I can go with of, two. Uh, yeah. not, not a big fan of uh, illegal search and seizure. I don't want to be forced to incriminate myself. Those are things that would not exist if you were a true con quote unquote constitutional originalist. But it's also like we never, we don't even abide by half the shit. Like how many dry counties are there and fucking no liquor sales on Sundays and things like that. It's yeah, like, that's a violation wasn't of the 21st there an, Amendment. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, and, and yeah, I'm going to sue exists. Utah at some point. I'm going to sue the shit out of Utah <laughs> as a state. Utah, God, is the like God, honestly, the I worst. if it weren't for the Mormons and how much money, so you know the Mormons back Prop Eight in California, right? They paid for all that shit. No, I didn't know. For that, those actually. for those of you who don't remember Prop Eight, it was the anti marriage equality bill yeah. Yeah. that happened in California. Yep. What in the fucking early 2000s? Or yeah, some yeah. Shit. yeah. Um, it was like the last. The one. Mormon <laughs> Church spent 23 million dollars on that campaign to keep gay people in a state that they aren't even in from getting married. That's crazy, man. <laughs> and so, I hate so those fuckers. yeah, fuck you guys, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, also the whole thing with the booze, like it's cut in half, right? You're, you're yeah. it's cut in half. What do you mean? I just don't it's like 3%. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. understand if you are <laughs> a person that values freedom, 
why are why is your religious views like completely against it? Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> strange, man. Uh, really fucking strange. Uh, next up, uh, Mayor. Is this is he Mayor De Blasio? Uh, I've stopped calling him Mayor. I, I have as well because uh, he was in the presidential race and he's yeah. out of the presidential. race. I don't even capitalize his name anymore. What happens to your mayorship at that point? Are you done oh. with that, or do you have I, to no, throw oh. it in? What he should do is uh, tie some. Well, never mind. Let's move on. Yeah, so, well, uh, he, yeah. he got an earful yeah. from the union head following an attack <laughs> on an EMT by emotionally disturbed man. Um, this is a follow-up to last week's uh, piece uh, on the NYPD uh, being treated like shit uh, by their command and by shitbag mm. politicians. Uh, here we go again with this waste of life de Blasio. Yeah, he's just like constantly putting his fist up his own ass, which I believe... If you continue doing something like that, it probably means you like it. Yeah. Uh, You're going to get hurt. It's, it's, called a, it's called a De La Hoya. I tell you what you don't like uh, is the people who fucking serve your administration on a day-to-day basis. And you personally. There are guys around him all the time with guns, right? Yeah. All the time that are willing to put their life on the line to protect him. And he's not willing to fucking stop talking shit about them in public. Or... Get Or get the funding that they need to deal with the fucking ongoing mental health crisis in New York City, which is what it is. EMT guys are getting attacked all the goddamn time by fucking crazy people that just aren't being dealt with. And right. when, when you see that... Uh, That's happening everywhere, by the way. It is, yeah. yeah. And none of these guys are stepping up to do anything, guys and women as well. They're, none of them are really doing anything. There, there's pockets of resistance that are, that are decent politicians that are doing shit at the local level. But for the most part, I mean, everybody knows de Blasio is a shitbag. Like, yeah. nobody questions that. And now it's gotten to the point where NYPD guys are fucking killing themselves left and right. Like, just blowing their fucking brains out all over the fucking place. I think there's been 10 so far this year. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and now, even the EMT, even all, all first responders up there, the people that we depend on the most in, in American life, are being treated as if they don't matter. That seems problematic to me. Same. Uh, and it's, look, if you want to do a job like that, we discussed this last week, you p- pay them more then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, Here, Here's otherwise. the deal. Like, everybody, I, I understand the conservatives are anti-union a lot of time, and I can understand why, because a lot of, particularly the auto, auto union is just fucked. Like, they've been doing stupid shit for years. But here's how it typically goes. For, for those of you who are wondering why unions are always pissed off, Here's one of the big reasons that they're pissed off. So they'll negotiate lower salaries with the state mm-hmm. in exchange for better benefits down the road. And then the state will start having financial problems down the road, and they'll take the benefits away too. Yep. So not only did they have shitty pay for fucking years to do a very dangerous job, now they're not getting the benefits they were promised to do that job. You'd be fucking pissed off too. It's no different than fucking uh, the Green Beret we talked about at the beginning of the show. He did a job expected to be taken care of by his government. People that went to Vietnam did a job and expected to be taking care of their government. People in the GWAD expected to be taken care of by the government for the sacrifice they made. Instead, we had guys dying in line in Phoenix at the fucking VA. Instead, we have EMTs getting the shit kicked out of them by crazy people because this piece of shit mayor won't do his fucking job. Yeah, and look, we've done, because uh, Jared, there's a Drinking Bros First Responders group um, on Facebook, and we've done a few yep. call-in shows with those guys about their craziest stories. They're always getting attacked. Yeah. I mean, always. All the, and I didn't know about the ketamine thing, that they've got to keep ketamine on them at all times and shit like that, um, which is nuts. That's, I mean, that's a fucking cat tranquilizer. Yeah. Uh, just to subdue some of these fucking people. And, yeah, look, in, in L.A., when I was there, they were picking up uh, people from the hospital that had, like, mental issues. And yeah. then they were dropping them off downtown. Remember that, Jesse? Mm-hmm. In their nightgowns. Mm-hmm. And they got popped in the middle of the night, like 3 a.m., dropping off, like, 30 or 40 of them mm-hmm. downtown. Yeah, but there were cities all over the country – uh, that were doing that with buses and bring them to LA and dropping them off downtown. Like they were bringing their fucking crazies. They were putting them on buses. Mm-hmm. Uh, several cities in Texas actually were doing this. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix did it as well. They they got caught putting like homeless people and crazy people on buses and just dropping them off in LA. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking. But that's nuts. how it is. These these motherfuckers like De Blasio and these motherless fucks. That are civilians out there that are constantly complaining about EMTs and police and shit like that and everything else. Like, oh, the union or fucking, oh, police are fucking brutalizing people. They call 911 and expect to be serviced immediately. And if they don't get perfect customer service out of it. Yeah. Like, you, these are the people that you want to see on the worst day of your life. 
because they're going to stop bad shit from happening <laughs> or yeah. they're going to fucking uh, they're going to uh, help you once the bad shit has happened and you treat them like this. You are a piece of fucking human garbage. Well, he's not going to be president. Uh, that's for goddamn sure. No. So de Blasio's out of there. Uh, next up, dude, we got a Eero. We get an we get an ad for Eero, Dan. I think Jared needs one of these for that house. You actually. do need one if if you get a big house like Jared. <laughs> Jared's got a nice big house. It's E. Oh, Jared, you have a big house. Oh, oh. 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 It's just a couple 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 of those square feet. Yeah. <laughs> um. Look, this uh, new sponsor only for this week. Um. Which is. Rad, I think, um, because they were like, hey, man, we're trying to get this out there, jamming out in- into the interwebs. Um, this is Eero.com forward slash drinking bros. That's E-E-R-O.com forward slash drinking bros. This is one of those Internet systems that you plug in um, where it's like uh, you plug it right into the modem. And then it's got these little Glade plugins that go all around your house. So that way the, the signal. I have this. Yeah. Oh, you've got Eero. Yeah, yeah, dude, I I do not have, I have two sets of it. Are you fucking serious, dude? I, I had to get I had to get fucking six of them. No Did way. You, so you got two sets. You got it. Yeah, because uh, it comes. Because oh, your house is so big. It, yeah, 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 it comes in uh, two sets of three. Oh, is it, is, go grab it. Go grab it out of the fucking wall, um, dude. So we have it now at our house. Dan does not. I don't need it. No, you don't need it. I've got a two. I mean, it's we have a two story house. I've got a two bedroom single story apartment, so it's cool. So it helps mm-hmm. with speed, range, all that shit. Like it's simple, man. Yeah, if you're trying to watch Netflix and uh, you know your kids <laughs> are, are up in a, in a, in a playroom or, or wherever they are, dude. I thought I still had the box. I guess I don't have the box, but yeah, yeah, you, you, it's great. And yeah, it comes and with it, an app. Yeah, like, it comes with an app, and it's dude. It's a like a four minute setup. It's super fucking easy. Yeah, and takes th- takes really easy. I was having trouble uh, watching Netflix in my room. Because the modem is r- directly above me. Same, same with us, actually. My room yeah. is about a quarter mile that way. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> no, we, so we have the same problem because uh, the modem's upstairs, and they don't give you two modems a house. We tried to buy that for yeah. ours, and they were like, no, you can't do that. The, the, the signal will interfere. Yeah. You need to buy something <laughs> like Eero, and I was like, I, I didn't know what the fuck it was. They shipped it to my house. Um, I used it. Dude, four minutes to set up. You download the app. Um Fuck, man, we got shit everywhere, dude. Netflix in every goddamn room all over the house. It was <laughs> yeah, amazing. No, it, it works really well. Yeah, I love it. and again, you just you plug it into the wall, so you don't you don't have to do anything. Um, super easy. Uh, and just you goes can reset outlet. from your app too. Like if it's like if something's screwy, you just yeah. Tell yeah, if to, Ross like, can handle it. it, I know, and I'm not a tech anyone guy. Anyone, I'm not can. a tech guy. I'm not a tech guy. I'm not a tech guy. He doesn't that's, believe in tech. Uh, that's like believe really. that's like Wesley Snipes saying he's not Irish. I mean, wow. literally, <laughs> fucking Ross wouldn't know how to start a, a push to start car if there wasn't a key. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you you definitely push something. Um, you can push your fucking computer keys and go to ero.com e e r o dot com forward slash drinking bros. Today, use the promo code Drinking Bros, and this this thing is ninety nine bucks, and they'll give you free overnight shipping. Mm. So it'll be at your house tomorrow. Yeah. Um, amazing, uh, big big fan of those guys. Uh, also, a big fan of this next story. The Joker is now the most successful R rated movie in history. Uh, it's I you know I read this yesterday. It's it's sitting right above nine hundred million yeah. on a fifty five million dollar <laughs> budget, oh. and uh, they refuse to cut anything for China. They didn't Which do nice. shit, yes. dude. I, so here's what I wonder. One is how many points on the back end did Joaquin Phoenix have? Oh, you know who had the most was Todd Phillips, the director. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did this on The Hangover as well. Yep. Mm. I would think Joaquin just thing. got wait, his so, quote, right? So wait, no. roll back. You saying China wanted a, wanted things cut out and they said no, fuck this it. This movie's not Correct. for China. They don't... So ever one, they only want superhero and action movies, anyways. Yeah, but that's not what this is. This is like an introspective yes. drama. There's no yeah. CGI. There's no. Have you seen this yet, Jared? No. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> he's he's gonna win the Oscar for sure. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and there's no CGI. There's no. It, it's like watching a, a, a two hour psychological drama, mm-hmm. and it's it's amazing front to back. So what Todd Phillips does is for movies like The Joker, movies like The Hangover. He wants the actors he wants, and he wants to make the movies he wants. The studios aren't amped about that, so they're like, look, you cut your budget down. We'll let you cast whoever you want. And I think he got 30% of the back end of The Hangover. Um, and if then, he got 30% of the back end of this. Oh, boy. He's donezo. $55 million, dude, to do a superhero or, you know, yeah. quote, unquote, a superhero it's not movie. Really, but yeah. it's, not, it's not really one. 
Um, I haven't seen it yet. It doesn't seem like I mean it's the it's the locations that would cost the most probably right. Well, like it, it's also perfect storm <laughs> in the marketing world. This came out on the fucking the end of summer. There was no thing competing mm. with it. Right. Like and, yeah. every, everybody is still compelled by the story, but they they don't have to deal with the the fatigue from superhero movies either. Yes. Because yeah. it was it was definitely marketed as this is not a superhero movie. It is a story about yeah. a man. So I think that and probably really helps not. a lot. Yeah. But, yeah. but what's the difference between this and all the... Because there have been tons of great R-rated movies over time. Yes. Why this one? Why did this one hit so hard? This one hit so hard uh, for, for two... Generation? Re- yes. Uh, for, for, for two reasons, right? Um, this the, the generation that we're living in, there was, there was a, a bunch of articles about this. That there was a bunch of sad, lonely, pissed off kids. And there were... This was the first time that I was frisked at a movie. So were you. They checked mm-hmm. your bag. Um, there was cops at almost every single theater across the nation as they were worried somebody was going to shoot it up, which didn't happen, thankfully. Um, but it, it, it is this generation where you feel lonely Shout out to the uh, first responders Absolutely. for keeping that from happening, by Fuck the way. Yeah, exactly. I was, when I, I, I was adding, too, like you, you, have, you have multi-generations that have lived on this story of Batman. Right. Yeah. So... But you're you're fifty year old to your twenty year old right now. Shit, teenagers, but yeah, at this point, but yeah, but 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 a twenty to fifty <clears throat> age demographic that all has their own money that can go see a movie. Yeah. <clears throat> they all know this name. They know mm-hmm. they never they never got the story behind yeah. it. You know what I mean? Right. You've seen how many? You know, the Dark Knight had the Joker. You you had all the Batman's that were remade with Tim Burton and all this shit. So it's like you you know exactly. Who this character is, you have no clue how the fuck he came yeah. out. But your he, your thing with the generational thing was that there's millennials are fucking mopey, sad people. Exactly, and I think this was the the superhero quote unquote that they were waiting for, where you're you're not busting through a wall, you're not doing anything else except for sitting in your house, wishing you were someone else, trying to get out, and that's essentially what the story of of this movie is about. And Look, to, to have a movie make this much money, you've got to have that key demographic go and see it. Uh, otherwise, look, you're, you need a PG movie or, or, or a G movie for something like this. Then you also need the right actor and director who have the creative control to do whatever they want. Because, um, if, look, if you put a shitty actor in this, and we've seen it, this movie fails. Yeah, I'm not sure if Joaquin Phoenix, uh, it's easy to say this because his results have been good, but he doesn't seem like the kind of guy that, cares about the results so much Mm-mm. not at all like he he like that stupid shit he did where he pretended to be a fucking rapper for a while yeah he just did it he, he obviously to. he obviously did not care about making money Mm-mm. on that no <clears throat> and her even although it did well yeah didn't seem like that that's a prestige movie but not a money movie no not right? at all I, and he for, doesn't usually do money movies but, for a movie yeah. like her you probably make a million two million dollars for maybe, somebody yeah. like him maybe as an actor yeah um, if he wanted to, I mean, shit, he could have sold out years ago and just hasn't. After Gladiator, if he had just started doing movies where he was a main powerful villain in action movies, he would have been making twenty million dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. But he decided not to do that. And as weird as he is, I mean, you got to appreciate that, right? Because it's people like him that are fighting back against the—I don't know what you would call it—the the Chinafication of fucking Hollywood, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even go to award <laughs> shows. He doesn't do any press. He's like the the last of a dying breed where they're old school <laughs> where they just like do the movie do the work yep and get the fuck out of the way out of there and then want to go home he didn't even want to do a table read for the movie to start with uh and he was forced into it by de niro and uh i, I was surprised <laughs> because i thought de niro would have a much larger role to demand a table read out of Joaquin Phoenix because if you watch it, it's a one man show. It's also this, Bobby D though. This fucking so, thing. Look, if Bobby D says do this, you do it. It, it is not really. He's he, been a, not he's even a watch- fucking jackass. Yeah, yeah. yeah these days, for well, sure. he's turned into a fucking retard. He really has. Well, you if you're isolated in your bubble that long, everybody turns into a retard. He'll be uh, That's true. In, in two Oscar nominated movies this year. Yeah, Mark my Irishman. words, The Irishman as well, and then this. Yeah. Um, but I actually think the compelling part of this is not actually uh, mopey millennials. I think it's elder millennials that are angry uh, at like all the stories we just talked about and like how angry that makes us. That's how this guy felt. Yeah, and he fights back. The thing back. Is, is like, what is this going to change? It's like we the, the populace just proved the concept 
But is Hollywood going to follow? No. Fuck no. That, you're absolutely right. This, no. is, this is Old Town Road. It is a once-in-a-lifetime hit. I don't and, know. Uh, I don't know about that. I think uh, it, it could be... It could be something, right? Because if you can make <clears throat> Hollywood's about money over everything yeah, else. Yeah, but if in that case you've got two you've got two stellar case studies here. Deadpool Yeah, Deadpool yeah. and this and, one. And and Joker. That proved, hey, adults want to fucking go to the movies. Yeah. You just like, gotta put out the right type of product. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 they won't because it's too big of a risk. And uh, in the case of Deadpool in particular, that's Fox. Uh, Disney just bought Fox, so they're gonna make probably one or two more Deadpool's, and then that'll be all of Deadpool. Like they'll be all done with that. Disney wants no part of R-rated movies, in particular with their app about to drop. What November first, the Disney Plus app. You can't put Deadpool on there because then kids are gonna see that shit. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that's why I say this movie's it's it's one in a million. And congratulations that they got it made and got it accomplished. But uh, it took Todd Phillips and it took. A performance like Joaquin Phoenix. Otherwise, let's face it, it's probably a Hemsworth and, uh, you know, the fucking director of goddamn Ghostbusters, the female reboot. What happened with uh, Hemsworth, by the way? They're still doing shit. You know, he's doing the, the biopic for Hulk Hogan uh, for Netflix. He's playing Hulk Hogan? Uh, ironically, you know who's producing is, is Todd, Todd Phillips. Why, why, well, why Hemsworth? Um, blonde, you know. He may. He's got to go on some wind straw and some D ball, dude. He's got to get, like, Six inches taller, maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, look, Hulk Hogan's a big dude. Uh, so Hemsworth's about six three, but yeah, yeah, uh, I, I suppose. Th- there's no, there's no six eight dudes rolling around Hollywood anymore. Um, After uh, Vince, Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, yeah. Well, he's he's let's he's not gonna. <laughs> I would play rather. Hulk Hogan. I would, <laughs> would rather see that too. <laughs> that would be awesome. Could you imagine Vince Vaughn? Awesome. Hulk Hogan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, 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 we're gonna fight. Uh, 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 we're gonna roll around in the cage. Is that what we're gonna do? Like drop? <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're gonna do? Uh, is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> there it is. Your money, baby. Uh, let's get to the next one. Raycon.com forward slash drinking bros headphones. Jabes, you've been wearing them all weekend. Uh, how you've been wearing those all week? The the brand new ones. What were those? The twenty fives. Yeah, so we got the new the new model. And yeah, we'll bring him into the, the office. Sweet dude. So Jesse runs every day. You you run like fucking five I ten mean, miles. What are you I'm... running from? <laughs> uh, the scale. Mm. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so with the Raycons, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. newer model is uh, pretty fucking awesome for like. Long distance runs, hardcore working out, wireless. Uh, yeah. They last five hours if you charge them in that that box. Um, those are the best in the biz, man. We've seen them, Dan. And you and I, we travel everywhere. We uh, do. Everybody's wearing these goddamn things in yeah. airports. We didn't know it was them, and so we reached out, and uh, boom, now they're on the show. Ray J. Yeah. So go to buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. These are affordable headphones, uh, best wireless in the business. You get 15% off and knocks them down in like 55 bucks. Yep. Uh, and they come with a bunch of those <laughs> ear hole things. Mm-hmm. That way, in, in case you're a disgusting human, you can swap those out. Yep. Buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. Next up, smart drugs are now being used in an unprecedented level, and there's no sign it will slow down. Uh, what kind of drugs are these, Dan? Um, so there's a drug called uh, modafinil that people have been using for years. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it was originally like a sleep apnea drug uh, that would deaden you. It makes you sleep no matter what. I want that. Right? It's I like a, It's that. like a Bill yeah. Cosby style drug. There you drug. go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we, so, need, we need that it, Cosby sleep. It, w- it was developed we for a people. Newborn. Yeah, yeah, no, give it to the newborn and he'll shut the fuck up, well, right? Or give it to us. <laughs> oh, there my you bad. go. <laughs> Jesus, <Yeah. Dan. laughs> Oh, my <laughs> bad. Dan. Don't kill the baby. Yeah. It won't kill him. It'll just put him to sleep. Anyways, uh, so it's meant to regulate your sleep in a very fucking precise way. So people that are on shift work, pilots, for example, mm-hmm. airline pilots who have to sleep uh, a certain amount of time, like you're required... Jared, you may know more about this than me, but you can only fly a it's certain crew rest. Yeah. yeah. What is that? I don't. I don't know what that is, Jared. It's just you. You have required downtime. How much is it? it can't be. Uh, eight hours sometimes, pretty much. Yeah, it's like I think it's double whatever you've flown the previous day or something. You have to have down. Like you can't fly for ten hours, then go sleep for eight and come back and fly ten hours again. Uh, can't do a, cl- really, a clopin. Yeah. Uh, what? A clopin. Klonopin. 
What? A clopin in the service industry when you do the night sh- close to open. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. A clopin. No, you can't. You, you definitely can't do that. So uh, people in using can't do what? Can you say it? No, I, I, say the word word I refuse to say that. Can you word. say the word clopin? Um, just say clopin <coughs> really just say quick. Just say clopin, Dan. Just say clo- Dan. Dan if you say clopin, clopin, then we can just like move on yeah. and yeah. we can just like be clopin. done with it. Yeah, just say clopin one time. Yeah. At, at what point in my life have I ever been susceptible to peer pressure? All right, this headline. Finish boring. it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> at any rate, uh, so between. But I want this stuff. Between, well, that's just one example. So okay. Well, the, no, because I, I know what you're talking about, because Joe Rogan talks about this shit all the time. Alpha Brain, yeah. yeah. That's so the one he's always talking about. I've, okay. I've used it, dude. You, you've had you, you've had Ar- Aubrey Marcus. He loves Actually, it. you've I been on his Alpha show. Brain. Aubrey yes. Marcus yeah. uses Alpha Brain and nicotine gum. That's his combination. I wouldn't recommend the nicotine Ooh. gum. But he, he, why? he says yeah, it why? fucking gives him like so much energy. Yeah. Shit. It's Matt got, takes it's that shit it's all the time. Uh, like Matt didn't, it, Matt no. didn't smoke or dip or anything. He just started using nicotine gum for those benefits specifically. Yikes. I, <laughs> look, it's a lot. You get real hopped up on that shit. I've taken his alpha brain though. Yeah. And again, they're not a sponsor <clears throat> or anything, but um, I am laser fucking focused yeah. for the day. But I, I, I have to make sure that I, it, it is. Hey, man, I got six to eight hours in front of me and, and nothing yeah, else oh, yeah, behind yeah. me because, yep, yep. man. Uh, so this, this is a study from uh, 2015 to 2017. Uh, the use of, quote, unquote, pharmacological cognitive enhancement drugs jumped from 5% to 23% of the U- uh, population in the U.K., so a quarter of the population in the UK are using one of these "quote unquote" pharmacological cognitive enhancement drugs. Yep, and I'm I'm all about it, man. Look, I think everybody should be on fucking testosterone replacement as soon as your fucking T levels drop below like 500. Get back on that shit. It makes you a better human being. Yeah, it makes you nicer. You're in better shape. Your fu- all your shit works better. You should be taking CBD because it promotes homeostasis. There's all kinds of stuff that you should absolutely be taking. Why would you not take it? Why would you not? Yeah. Why would you why not do we take have the something? science if we're not using it? Yeah, exactly. Because why we're not the take idiots something? that invented this method that said somebody else can tell us when and where we can use shit. Yeah. In Egypt, you can walk into a fucking pharmacy and buy anything you want. Well, really? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you, have, you can. You can still buy D ball. Yeah. And anywhere you want you, in Egypt, man. which is part Any pharmacy in Egypt, they have everything. Yeah. Like anything that you want, it's just on the shelf. No it's shit. Not, some asshole like, ah, oh, we'll see if you need this. Like, fuck you. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Fuck pharmacists. Crazy. People in Silicon Valley. Seriously, craziness. fuck all pharmacists. People in Silicon Valley and the military fake. have been do- Jared, doing this calm for down. Years. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking fake, Jesse. Pharmacists fuck are fucking pharmacists. full of shit. They're fake. People, pharmacists people, don't know fucking anything. What even is science? Yeah, what even is pharmacy? What even is yeah. pharmacy, yeah. dude? dude. Yeah. <laughs> fucking define space. Fuck pharmacists. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Seriously, people, you're, you're bullshit. People in Silicon Valley and the military have been using this for years. First of all, <laughs> if you're on a fucking uh, SF or team or a SEAL team out there and your fucking medic isn't giving you fucking testosterone, then I don't believe you, honestly. Yeah. One. Yeah. Uh, and two, if you read the book Stealing Fire, it's a great book, by the way. Uh, it yeah. talks about how Sergey Brin and his partner took, uh, what's his name, Larry Craig, out into the, they took him to Burning Man to do fucking mushrooms and acid and shit. That was his interview to become the head of Google. Like, really? Because people in Silicon Valley since the 80s have been using psychotropic drugs to enhance their fucking mental performance. Yeah, and, and there's, a, there's, like a, there's a big thing. And like open their minds. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like <laughs> Against pharmacists. Elon Musk and all those guys, everybody says that they're, they're always microdosing on the weekends. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, by the way, that, that CBD shit, dude, we, I don't know if they're on today, but uh, Killcliff, dude. Killcliffcbd.com. Oh, yeah. Everybody's buying the shit out yeah. of that. I, I'm There's two new flavors coming out, by the way. I'm not going to tell you what they are because I want you to be surprised. But two new flavors are coming out very soon. Wow. Uh, I'm look. I'm amped for it. Let's go to KillCliffCBD.com. Um, sh- ah, fuck, man. Promo code Drinker Bros. Twenty percent off. Free shipping. It's like four bucks a can. I drink this shit every night, dude. I do every night. Yeah. Every, every single I, night. I have a can every single night. Yep. Um, I don't know what they did. I have a couple cans of White Claw. <laughs> do you? Oh, there it is. Uh, Jared, have you had this yet? This is the craziest oh, shit of all but time. They don't, it doesn't get shipped to me. It goes to your guys' fucking office. No, it's you like all the headphones. Go calm on. down. All you have to do is, <laughs> is go on there, dude. Uh, I am, I am, however, attending Kill Cliff's big fundraiser uh, nonprofit thing in in Nashville next month. So I'm excited for that. That's Where, awesome. What what's what's the date for that? Uh, the 17th or, or 18th. 
or 19th. One of those. Hang on. Yeah, yeah there you go. Jesus. Yeah, one, one of those, of those days. days. Good, Good for you, Jared. Yeah. Good I'm going to be for leaving you. you guys and then headed there. And then headed there. Wait, um, when is he coming here? Uh, very Four, soon. 13th. It's yeah. 19th. Well, Tuesday, November 19th, the Tomahawk Gala. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, they having Tomahawk steaks? I hope so. Yeah. I'm hungry right now. Are they having re- real <laughs> Indians there? <laughs> yes, Jesse. I will be there for two weeks. Yes. What? Next moment to North Carolina. Yeah. And I'm leaving my car at your house. <laughs> he brought us. Why? He brought us sleeping bag, and he's going to sleep in the room with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. At the foot of the bed. <laughs> foot of the bed. That's what happens. Or you can just put a GP medium tent Nobody in the backyard. Nobody <laughs> fucking told me about this. Well, well it's you don't, happening no, now. It's, so. it's Jared. It's just me and Jesse sleeping in the tent in the yard. <laughs> 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 Sleepover. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? That well, would oh, be. You know what? Actually, a little that brings up an idea. Trip. Yes, we should do a host camping trip. Oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. And film it for the weekend. That's a Christmas special. Could you imagine? Oh, God. Could that you would imagine? be funny. I we love camping. We hire a two-person camera crew, <laughs> like, and then the, the four of us, you know, Dan and I get a plus one. We well, get to go yeah. obviously, Sure, obviously. 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 Or Dan and I can share a plus one. <laughs> wow. Because <Yeah. laughs> that's now become a thing. Well, yeah. look, we can. Get, I, I'm, I don't want to be limited to just a plus one, though. Is that possible to get a plus six? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> it's America, dude. Good. Yeah, it's I could America. do a plus two. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> um, why not? <laughs> dude, the, the host camping trip. That's fucking <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Sounds like my worst nightmare. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you would have fun. Uh, it sounds like this murder probe, uh, after 39 bodies were found in a truck container in southeast England, a uh, truck apparently came from Belgium. Look, if you're going to murder people, I heard Belgium's a great place to do it. Well, the um, truck was registered in uh, Bulgaria. Then it was it, it left port in Belgium and showed up down here uh, in a Waterglade Industrial Park in England. And there's just like 39 fucking corpses in the back. I, I read this, and it, they don't know why or how or what. No, they arrested some 25-year-old Irish guy. Really? Yeah. Serial killer? Uh, I, man, I don't know. Was he bored? That sounded really a serial. That's just a mass murder at that point. Serial killer yeah. is somebody that picks out people based on certain traits and shit like that. I don't want to get too semantic about it. But at any rate, yeah. I just want to go on record that I've n- I've not been to uh, any of these countries anytime recently. I had nothing to do with this. Uh-huh. I just want to put that out there. Sure. Because any time a bunch of dead people show up, everybody's like, oh, no, fucking Dan was involved. No. Yeah, but there was like like two weeks ago, you were just non-reachable no, no, for no, no. about five no, days. No, no, no. Nope. Yeah, nope. you were. Yeah, you where were, were you? Yes, he was. You were not no. here. Yes, you were. I you was. Were, uh, you were not reach there. You, you didn't sick. answer your phone. Yeah, you sick. said he was sick. My phone was uh, and getting, not working, it was getting apparently. repaired. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Getting uh, repaired. Lost it. Uh, yeah, yeah. My that's friend what he says when he updates his cracked. iOS. <laughs> something. No, oh, man. I was updating my iOS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it must and have been was like, I tried to call you. I hadn't I was done an update in a really long time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so they did all the updates at once. It took. A week. Yeah, yeah and I've, I've been trying that lately, just giving p- people answers that don't make sense to see if they actually like like play them out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh wait, but hey, hey man, I've been trying to call you. Yeah, dude, I was updating my iOS. Yeah, my my cat. <laughs> like, but wait, my cat has gallstones. Did that work? So no, <laughs> yeah, no. It's been a busy day. It's been a. Busy I didn't week, kill any of these you know? people. God damn it. Okay, Dan, you look like you're from Ireland. I don't know. I yeah, just like you got, you got a little, little rosy cheeks. Uh, you're very Irish features. It's sort of like prove it. Yeah. You know? No, you can't. What can be prove asserted it. with no evidence it's, can be dismissed with no evidence. It's Hitchens sort of like, razor. Get yeah, fucked. Yeah, no. Sort of like <laughs> prove it. All right. Or it can be What's Occam's one? razor prove where the one we that makes the Snowden? most sense is sitting right here. Yeah. If I was going to murder a bunch Rogan of people, yesterday. I wouldn't put them in the back of a truck and leave them in an industrial park. Well, they, they would be hanging in my closet with all the rest of the dead bodies. All right. All your clothes. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> We're moving. Oh, that's an American Snowden. psycho Snowden reference. Snowden did Come on. Uh, Rogan. Yes. Snowden did Rogan yesterday. That, that, that's the last you one. You like Huey yeah. Lewis in the news? Um, so here, here's the thing. I was I, I, I talked about this on Ross Patrick Revolution a little bit where I was like, hey, man, I just because it was breaking while we were recording. And I was like, I'm going to go home and watch this. <clears throat> I went home and watched it last night. He's not that interesting of a dude. No, he's boring. 
boring. It's very, very yeah. and very self-important. Snowden, yeah. Um, he's like uh, the the WikiLeaks guy. What's his name? Yes. Oh, uh, Assange. I mean, I yeah. actually, Assange. I, I got kind of bored. Like after you started uh, talking about Rogan's logo and shit like that. I, I did like, too. Yeah, I, I know, and that was like five minutes in, Jared. I mean, by I'm the way, not, I don't hate. I don't hate him. Like he didn't put. He didn't put anybody in real danger. He just was no. like, hey, uh, we're doing some shit that ain't legal, guys. I'm, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm absolutely not Four. fine with what he did necessarily, but I understand it, and I don't think he's like anything like, uh, what's that girl's name? Chelsea something? Bradley oh, yeah, Manning. Manning. Oh, Bradley. I don't call, I don't Manning, call him. Yeah. I don't recognize that. <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah, yeah uh-uh. Man- Man- Bradley Manning. Manning Bradley Manning. Manning put out information that had real-time troop locations, including uh, ours, by the way. It had our entire MTIL for when we were deployed. Like our no M- shit. MTIL was like our fucking personnel roster. Yeah, it connected Jesus call Christ. signs to strikes. Yeah. It did, did all kinds of all shit. All sorts of shit. Him. But all this guy did, I mean, look, I, I think that the uh, – U.S. government should be able to operate with impunity in some ways, as long as it's foreign. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have any problem with us spying on everybody, including heads of state. I don't have a problem with us killing heads of state if they fuck up. That's fine. Uh, when you turn it inward and start spying on your own people, that becomes problematic. And, and the reason, the reason is because of people like Lindsey Graham that sit on chairmanships of these big committees. Oh they, yeah, Lindsey Graham. Yeah. Yeah, I almost yeah, yeah. forgot. They will use uh, like I'm fuck not. Em. I'm not fuck even em. kidding. They'll use stuff like that for their political benefit. Uh, fucking uh, what's his nuts? The FBI director, uh, J. Edgar Col- Hoover. Col- no, no. no. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover did that shit for years. The reason that he stayed as the FBI director forever is because he had dirt on every motherfucker in Washington. That's the only way he stayed in power because everybody wanted him gone. Everybody, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, to me, <laughs> this guy is a guy who <clears throat> did something. You know, they they made a Hollywood movie about him, right? Uh, and then for years, he's, he's just kind of reveled in this, oh, Snowden, he's such a mysterious character. Mm. To me, when he went on Rogan, and again, I watched it. He's um, exposed. Yes. As a boring cunt. Uh, yeah. 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 Exactly. Just shut the fuck up, <laughs> Let's dude. see what that view count is up to now. Yeah, no one cares. I, so I, I, I said It was this, at 700,000 views, though, like an hour after he fucking... It was yeah. at 3 million last night when yeah, I watched but that's, it. I mean, look, Rogan has 6 million fucking subscribers, so obviously it was that high. It should be. It should be. Every but one of them goes I, that. But yeah. it, it, it was 4. trending 4. for a long million time. Now. Yeah. 4.4 million now. Yeah. Uh, it was trending all day yesterday. Everybody was talking about it. It's one of those things, though, man. Once you start watching it, you're like, fuck, this guy is just kind of fucking boring. So uh, either way. Well, you, enjoy you Russia, look, bitch. Yeah. Is that but, where he's at? Yeah. It Moscow. is. So here, here's what he's – he the, the point of this whole article was that um, he said that he looked – through everything he could find on these databases and couldn't find any evidence that we've ever been contacted by aliens. Blamo. No. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. hey, I mean, that's the most that's the most hard piece of evidence I've ever been. Yeah. Right? Needed. He also wow. said that uh, there are no. That chem- dork patrol would have found it too. He also but said again, that there are no chemtrails was- and that we definitely landed on the moon. Well, Thank you. Yeah. I, well, I, Alex I, Jones I, told me we landed on the moon and that was enough for me. Yeah, yes, exactly. Exactly. I get like, all my news. Well, from, from Alex, Alex Jones. Jones. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> if there's a conspiracy theory, yeah. if there's a conspiracy yeah. theory, and he says no, we actually did that, and there's no conspiracy. Yeah, and no, we like, absolutely yeah. did that. Yeah, yeah, we we landed. It, 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 it was the missions before that. You got to be well. You, there was many of them. Many of them. Yeah, we, we didn't think they were coming home. <laughs> now that's what I want to do a Christmas Nailed special it. with. Nailed I want to do a Christmas yeah. special with Alex Jones, all okay. of us in Santa suits, uh, down okay. there. Oh God. <laughs> Chopping it up, talking about uh, the ghosts of Christmas past, and really fucking bringing everything. Should I get my out. beard frosted for that? Right. Oh, that'd be great. Or yeah. should I play young yeah. Santa and you play Grandpa since you're like decades? I'm gonna than me. play Tim Allen. You should actually. That'd be great. <laughs> I should. You look like <laughs> Tim. Allen. You actually look like Al Borland, the, the neighbor. <laughs> I don't look oh, like Al. Yes, yeah. you do. <laughs> somebody, oh, yeah. somebody, Photoshop Jared in an Al Borland Thank fucking costume. You. Yeah. Right now. That you're very and, Al hey, Borland. While you're photoshopping me in an Al Borland oh, costume, please DM Ross on Instagram, St. James, St. James, pictures of your feet. Really? <laughs> why why pictures of feet, by the way? Just wait. You'll okay. see. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a I don't have a thing against feet, by the way. Uh, I don't have like a weird creepy thing. Oh, well, when I you, know. when you I get a few told hundred me. pictures of feet. Now Charlie did this to me on Snapchat the other day. He oh, has like was it, was it disgusting? Snapchat followers. Yeah, yeah. He just goes, hey, DM my buddy JT pictures of your feet. And I was just flooded. It was disgusting. 
feet are gross. Yeah, I don't mind them. I don't it's understand a, the girl jerking the dude off with her feet. What's the like? There's no way that, I don't know what that power is. struggle. It can't feel as good as a hand or a mouth. I know, but it's different. Yeah. We're all fucking bored. Yeah. Well, did you <laughs> did you see that guy in Target that was fucking a goddamn stuffed animal the other day? Yeah, yeah. Did so I, speed, I get it. You know? I did it. Bro. Finish. Did I you get finish it. the completion? Uh, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. So do I. <laughs> so do I. Bored. Is it considered a cream pie if you fucking come bored. inside of a stuffed animal? I, that's true. Oh, we all are. Okay. Kind of, probably. We all, you're, but you're right, Jared. We all are bored, and everybody's doing s- and fucked up things. Just do it at your house, fucking though. Fucking dumb. Get a fucking flashlight sewn into anything. the ass of one of those stuffed animals. No, dude. That's become part of it that now. Out. But that's become part of it. I can like, count you get my own pills. Walmart. Yeah, I can count my own pills. I don't need pharmacists. Jesus we Christ! Ban pharmacists. Uh, Jared, what even is we have pharmacology? Not been listening to you. Pharmacology <laughs> is fake. It's fake. It By is the way, not real. It's fuck Lindsey Graham. Fake. Right up his fucking fuck ass. Fuck Lindsey Graham. Fuck Lindsey Graham. Lifelong bachelor, no kids. Well, you know what that means. Draw he, your own conclusion. He yeah. loves pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Call Lindsey Graham. Get on the phone. Leave him a fucking message. Find his email. We'll try to get Tim Kennedy on the show to chat about it. Uh, top with Stacy. Do we have the weather? Alabama. Guess I'm keeping the baby. Thank you, Stacy. Jared, you'll be. By the way, you'll you might want to check her Instagram. Yeah, you might want to check her Instagram. She just posted a doozy a second ago. Oh. I o I o. Oh, get on there, Danny. Is she on? Is she at Topless Stacy? She should be now. No, no, she has okay. a different Instagram. I don't know. It's her, her real name. You know? She just got back from uh, the Caribbean though, and she took a bunch of great pictures down there. You bet. You bet she did. Yeah, she did. You bet she did. Uh, Jared's gonna have a little friend in town, and that'll be a nice thing. Maybe we can get her in studio, and then you guys together can, Jared, can are chat you, about your. Are you really coming to North Carolina? Yeah, for two oh. weeks. Yeah, for two weeks. Two weeks. Guys. Yeah, buckle up, buckle up, yeah. kids. I actually had uh, four cases of Tito's already shipped to the. Uh, uh, the beach house. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so, and Fuck. then, and then I hired my own driver. That's just gonna drive me back and forth from to your house. Yeah, <laughs> at like very weird hours. hours. Weird yeah. hours. <laughs> All right, man. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Listen, I have to. I have to hand deliver your Christmas gift this year, Jesse. Oh my oh. gosh, I think you told me about it. I still uh, have. Did you? I mean, it's it's Breakfast Club on Laserdisc. Oh, uh, I, I, no, I, I no, thought no. you were talking about the you coffee told, table book. Yeah, you told me about. Okay. Oh, the coffee table book. We also still have a, po- a two posters. We need to do something. Correct. Like. Yep. I think I was hearing about the <clears throat> poster. It was <clears throat> on the cruise. We were all sober. Whatever. Yeah. Um, Jesse. It was a good one, though. It was a good and one. And it was going to be yeah. on Ross. Yeah, it was going to be on me. I know, I know that much. All you guys kept talking about it, so you're gonna uh, find out. You're gonna shit your lungs out of your body when you see it. I hope so. Yeah. That's how la- yeah, that you're you gonna are. laugh so hard you'll die. I just don't know how. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Like, how do we debut this? Do we put it on the side of a building? I think we. We'll have yeah, a yeah. meeting. <laughs> we'll have a meeting first when you get here. We yeah. can we can make it a mural on the side of our studio. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what damn. this is. Let's but look into that. Yeah, right. for real. Look, we got we, brand new studios down here. We Wilson. may go to jail. If we can, if we can get a 16 foot print, <laughs> we have plenty of wall space in here. We could put it up on the wall inside this building for sure. <laughs> yeah. like, there's no we question. Got, we got a new that. studio. It's big. <clears throat> so we get we get a big one down here. We do have a big one down here. Yeah, we do. Um, I hope it's like Pontius, <laughs> but Calm you know, pa- uh, Party Boy from Jackass over at their offices. Yeah. When you walked in, it was a buck naked. I mean, full six feet tall portrait yeah. of him with his dick out, dick and balls out. Um, so if it's anything like that. I'm in. It's worse. Okay. It's much worse. <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> Let's much wrap it up. Worse. Let's All wrap it up right. for Anthony Anthony Holloway, Jared Saylor, Jesse Wiseman. I am Ross Patterson. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Good night, everybody. Nice. <laughs>